Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us again. This is the uh, Lecturer's Corner with the Japanese Message. I'm Marcus Rudolph, lecturer for 5207 with the Knights of Columbus. With me, as always, is his sister, uh, Father Martin Gladys, associate pastor with the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Thank you so much Hello. again for coming with us, Father. Of course. A couple questions for you before your Chaplain's Message. Um, we're in January now, Father. What are particular things that you want the men to focus on in the rest of this month? First and most important, Christmas season is not finished yet. <laughs> yeah? yeah, because yeah, unfortunately everyone is thinking that the next day after Christmas, the December 26th, is the end of Christmas. No. Christmas is two weeks more. Uh, this year it's little different in the liturgy because Christmas happened on Sunday. Normally the first Sunday after Christmas is the Holy Family Sunday. Mm -hmm. But the, with the first Sunday after Christmas will be a new, it's a new year. So we, we have a, a solemnity of Our Lady Mother of God. This is why the Holy Family uh, Feast, it will be during the week. But the last Sunday of the Christmas season is the baptism of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. It means this is the second, the third Sunday this year, the third Sunday in uh, January, because the second Sunday it will be Epiphany feast. So we're still in the Christmas season. We are, we still coming to the church. We'll hear the car carols mm -hmm. singing during the liturgy, and please celebrate Christmas time. In Christmas time, don't think that Christmas is finished. That's right. Uh, yeah, so we ha we have a we have a lot of, of this kind of very important solemnities during the, the uh, January. We have a, a Holy Family feast. We have a solemnity of Our Lady Mother of God. Mm -hmm. We have the Epiphany in the tradition we call the Three Kings, mm -hmm. uh, and we have a Baptism of Jesus Christ. Yeah, and all these these feasts are very important. They're very uh, focused on Jesus and and. Uh, Let's celebrate this, yeah. Let's think about the three kings, like uh, the the day when Mary and Joseph bring Jesus to the temple, and they present Messiah to the first time, and uh, uh, prophet uh, Simeon he said that the light for the Gentiles, mm -hmm. light for the world. Right. Yeah, so it's a very very beautiful feast are uh, waiting for us in January. All right, um, second question is uh, a holy people uh, in the history of the church, saints, who are folks that we need to put on our conscience this month for prayer? And also what feast, you've already gone over a couple, but any other feast that we need to be prepared for in the day? Uh, so in January, it's the half of January, is a Christmas, so still we have uh, Mary and Joseph, we still uh, uh, the feast of uh, baptism of Jesus, we will hear again the story of John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. um, and then we are going to the ordinary time. And this this uh, uh, specific uh, six to eight weeks, I don't remember right now how many weeks this year of the ordinary time before Ash Wednesday. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like, a, it's a time that we are between between Christmas and between Lent. Mm -hmm. There are, uh, probably we'll talk more about this in, on, on February, in February. But yeah, this is this is still, I think it's still, we have to be focused on the Holy Family, of the special time and, and the, the, the Joseph, Mary, St. John the Baptist. I give the floor to you in regards to looking at the camera and talking to the men about how you, what do you want to state in regards to your chaplain's message. Uh, the chaplain message is we have a new year, we have a new new year resolutions. What is your resolution resolution for this year? Yeah, and it means uh, do you have any faith resolution for this year, mm -hmm. or you are just thinking about make a. a some diet or something <laughs> yes, like this. It's, yeah, it's or, or, or you are thinking like maybe I will pray more rosary. Maybe I will go uh, for the weekday masses. Maybe I will find the time to pray with my family. Make some really 
religious New Year resolution. Think about how you can change, uh, how you can be more devoted. Maybe you can you can do something more for the Knights of Columbus for your council. Mm -hmm. That's the religious work too, also. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, make uh, some resolutions that will be uh, bring you closer to God. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Father. And again, I would reiterate to the men, take heed to what Father's saying in regards to putting the extra effort in as far as your uh, New Year's faith resolutions, uh, more prayer, using the rosary, more things of that nature, going beyond, above and beyond what you've done already. So. With that being said, Father, thank you so much for thank joining you so much. us. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, and God bless you.